Felton battling. That's the kind of tenacity they need more of. Pierce on the tape. Pretty. And one. Yeah, that's what they need. This is an emotionally charged day for Paul Pierce, the former Celtic, back in Boston, making his final appearance here as a player. Oh, come on! An appropriate ending for Paul Pierce. Paul Pierce's number 34 will one day hang in the rafters at TD Garden. That's a fact. In his 15 seasons with the Celtics, he's had game winner after game winner. Pierce, Pierce off the dribble. Pierce to the basket. Yes! Pierce takes it. Got it! Paul Pierce! He even surpassed Larry Bird as the second all-time leading scorer in franchise history. Rondo finds Pierce. Here we go. Got it! But it's these moments that stick out as some of Pierce's greatest hits in green. In his third NBA season, Pierce hadn't ascended to all-star status yet. After dropping 42 points on just 19 shots against the defending champ Lakers, he made the rest of the league take notice. What a night Paul was having. No one on the Lakers has any idea what to do with him. After the game, it was Shaquille O'Neal who gave Pierce the nickname that would last his entire career. I said, hey, Paul Pierce is the mother <laughs> truth. That's what you should call him from now on. The Celtics limped into the 2003 playoffs as the sixth seed, but Pierce helped Boston upset the third-seeded Indiana Pacers. In pivotal game four, Pierce scored 15 straight second-half points, and who can forget that shot against Al Harrington? Harrington talking to Pierce. The 2008 Eastern Conference Semis, Pierce and LeBron James dueled in a heart-stopping Game 7. These two guys just exhilarating here in this Game 7. They're playing a game. Anything you can do, I can do better. In the end, it was Pierce who prevailed with a 41-point effort to help push Boston back into the NBA Finals. Pierce cemented his legacy in Boston by emerging as the MVP of the 2008 Finals. Pierce, a long trade, rattles it in. The city of Boston stuck with me throughout all the hard times. And now we bring home champion 17! Yeah! When the Celtics raised their championship banner the following season, Pierce couldn't fight back tears during the pregame ceremony. On a team rich in history, Pierce is one of the greatest Celtics of all time. And that's the truth. On the road, the visitors will win three in this series. Well, Paul Pierce, we all know, one of the truly great players ever to play this game, a sure Hall of Famer, 22 points a game throughout his career, 45% shooting, one of the top three-point shooters in the history of basketball, and he'll, he'll end up fourth in that category of three-point make. They call him the truth for a reason, because he was one of the greatest finishers that this league has had. Today, though, belongs to Quinn Snyder and the Utah Jazz, who get their first playoff series victory since 2010. A team that was too young, too inexperienced, too injured a season ago, has rallied on the road and done what only 20% of road teams have done historically in Game 7. And what of the future of Chris Paul and the Clippers?